Summer travelers from Delaware will have to plan ahead if they want to go to the Garden State. New Jersey has added Delaware to its list of states requiring a 14-day quarantine before entering. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed joins us from Wilmington, where Delaware Governor John Carney spoke earlier today. Alicia? Yuki, people travel between Delaware and the tri-state quite often, but now, depending on the type of travel, they'll have to self-quarantine. At one point during this pandemic, Delaware made it mandatory for anyone coming into the state to quarantine. Now, facing its own rising COVID case trend, travelers from Delaware to New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut are being directed to self-quarantine for 14 days. Meanwhile, the governor of the first state says they're reacting, first by ramping up testing. It's testing in our beach communities in a significant way to get our arms around that outbreak, whether it's in hospitality employees, whether it's among uh, lifeguards on the beach, whether it's among people who are traveling in and out. Governor John Carney says the median age of those testing positive has changed. Within the last few weeks, it has gone from 45 years old to young adults in their mid to upper 20s. His advice. Don't make it a political statement one way or the other. Just wear a mask to protect uh, your family to protect your elderly relatives and neighbors and friends. The governor says as the state pushes to flatten the curve, he doesn't believe they belong on the same list as Arizona, Texas, Florida, Mississippi, or South Carolina, as the percentage in those states is at least twice Delaware's. Theirs is 10% uh, uh, positive. We're at 5.3 today. We want to be below 5. That's our, that's our target, and we've been there. Officials from New Jersey confirm the travel advisory does not apply to commuters or business travelers, emphasizing that the ban applies to leisure and optional travel, which they continue to advise against at this time. Reporting live from Wilmington, Delaware, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that.